Hello all the tech geeks, all the pros out there, this is yours innovative coder and in the last video we saw what are fast iterations, in this video we will be seeing something about functions. So uh, why we need functions? So uh, functions are uh, something uh, which are a block of code which are reusable, uh, you just need to write a call statement, we will be seeing what is a call statement uh, in this video. Um, but you need to write a call statement and uh, what you get is you get the output of that uh, function uh, it will be more clear more clear when we implement it so let's start uh, firstly what we'll be doing is so so uh, uh, functions where we have seen them earlier so we see we saw print function we saw input function these all are functions someone has written these functions in python uh, in the python uh, code and we are calling them and using them for our purpose um, so that is a, a function uh, which takes uh, which takes an input and gives us some output uh, which we can print or we can use in our code depending on our uh, necessity. So so let's start. Let's start. Uh, what we can do is um, basically x equals to so let us see this thing y equals to ten uh, z equals to suppose we have twenty. Or let's say z equals to x plus uh, x plus y x plus y x plus y and then we have print z so we get z uh, as um, as 30 so we get z as 30 but uh, instead of using using this code as once what we can what we could have done is we could have make we could have made a function of this uh, this whole code uh, to define a function we use def which means define and uh, then we write the name of the function uh, which is known as sum uh, which, which in this case we are calling a sum you can call it anything you want um, now we will be passing we will be passing the uh, variable names so let us suppose we pass a and b over here then these are colons these are these should be added uh, like we were adding them uh, after the if if uh, if else statement or after the for loop um, for for loop statement uh, the same case is over here also then what we do is we do x equals to suppose we have x or suppose we have z equals to a plus b and uh, then we do return z so this is a function which we have made over here named uh, as sum uh, what we could have done is we could have directly returned a plus b over here we can do that we can directly return a plus b or uh, um, yep so uh, this is the same this is the same code as uh, what we have written over here we can use a call statement to uh, just put the value to, to give the values uh, of, of these a and b and then uh, fetch the result fetch the sum as uh, 30 uh, uh, so it's like it's like this what you can do is you can have uh, a equals to sum x comma y x comma y yep and then print a print a yeah so you have 30 mm, the same answer because the x the values of x and y were same so uh, what I told you over here is there are six things you need to remember uh, which is the def basically the define we are defining a function then the name of the function then the parameters we will be talking about parameters in this video only uh, then the input the input uh, of uh, the variable so I wrote something like z equals to a plus b that thing uh, yeah then return z then the colons the colons you need to remember then the indentation there should be proper indentation in the function if you are writing something uh, after the uh, af um, not in the indentation that would be considered as uh, uh, outside the outside this function then we have the return statement so these are these are the basic steps you need to remember uh, in order to have uh, in order to command uh, these functions the concept of functions um, okay if if uh, so these uh, so this is the call statement which I was talking about earlier if you pass uh, like you need to pass the parameter the, the same number of parameters which you have uh, uh, written over here if you pass less number then it will 
शो द एरर दैट मिसिंग वन रिक्वायर्ड पोजिशन आर्ग्यूमेंट सो यू नीड टू पास द प्रॉपर प्रॉपर वेरिएबल्स राइट देन वॉट वील बी सींग इज समथिंग नोन एज डीफॉल्ट डिफॉल्ट आर्ग्यूमेंट्स डिफॉल्ट आर्ग्यूमेंट्स इन अ फंक्शन इन अ फंक्शन डिफॉल्ट आर्ग्यूमेंट्स इन अ फंक्शन सो वॉट आर दे सपोज वी हैव अ पावर फंक्शन we write def power x comma y and uh, this power function is defined as return x to the power y yep so uh, and we give the values as a equals to 10 and b equals to suppose uh, 4 so this would be 10 to the power 4 and uh, then we'll be uh, doing this a comma b uh so we get the result as this uh the this is the call statement right what we can do is we can directly give the values we need not store them in uh, 10 or uh, in in some variables uh, we can directly give the values and get an answer what is happening oh i didn't print that okay yeah oh yeah so we get the answer both uh, in both the cases as 1000 or oh, 10000 then uh, what we can do is we can specify we can uh, give a default uh, parameter a default value to a variable in the in the in this line in this uh, prototype in, in this prototype of the function so we give the value 2 as 2 uh, uh, to the y and uh, what we get is Oh, so so okay uh, it's okay we are giving this thing so if you give uh, if you give a default value to an argument in the prototype of the function uh, what uh, you can use this function like this also then it won't be giving you the error p power and then we give this 10 so we'll get the answer as 100 because it uses uh, this 10 as x and y will remain to only Uh, but in but when i told you over here it was giving the error as missing one argument so uh, this is the thing you can give uh, you can give this uh, default value to this argument as well as to this thing so you can uh, do that uh, i won't be showing that uh, so let's take another example uh, what we do over here is uh, yeah so we make again we we, we write the code for uh, summing up three numbers a b and c yep so we do this we return a plus b plus c so we return this uh, return this thing a plus b plus c yeah and uh, now what we'll be doing is we'll be printing the uh, the basic the basic calling statement giving 1 2 3 as the argument okay yeah six six we get the answer now what we do we do is we give this thing the uh, the default value as 2 and this as default value as 1 then we call the statement the remain uh, this remains the same because uh, the, he, he, at this moment it is using these uh, given values 1 2 and 3 it is not using the default values but if we give value to only to this thing 1 and 2 we are giving values only to a and b then it will be using uh, c as 2 only so 2 plus 2 plus 1 is uh, 5 but in that case it was giving us the answer as uh, 6 uh, so that is something and even if we wish we can give value only to uh, only to a uh, then it will be using the values a uh, the default values of b and c and uh, yep not the not the values which we are giving over here so uh, also also what we can do is we can use uh, yeah we can we can give the values of uh, to we, we can give all the three values we can give two values we can give one value or we can uh, no we can't leave it like this so so yeah so one thing 
so one analogy which I would like to create over here is we have seen this thing earlier also uh, and if you guys remember what, where we have seen this is the print function so I at, at the time when I was telling you th about the print function uh, I told you guys that uh, in print function uh, we can use end as a parameter so we type something suppose over here print uh, a b c d and then end equals to end equals to I said that we can use space yep when we printed the pattern so uh, yeah so it is uh, so like and then if I print this B C D E then it would uh, like print in one same line so this uh, this is the use case of these default arguments um, the, so I'll be ending this video over here only uh, thank you for watching this playlist for watching this series and supporting me subscribe my channel like the video and comment if you have any doubt so thank you